Hello, my name is Andre, and I'm your teacher. And this is training for Adobe Dreamweaver CS3. And as I'm sure you're aware, Dreamweaver is one of the top web authoring programs you can get. So whether you're designing a website for yourself, your own business, or this is what you do for a living, you design websites, Dreamweaver offers professional quality tools to help you accomplish what you need. Now in this opening lesson, I'm just going to go over the basics of creating a document and saving it. And Dreamweaver is pretty simple to use, so don't be intimidated by it. This is the opening screen, these three columns, open a recent item, create a new document, create from samples. And as is the case with many programs, there's multiple ways to accomplish the same end. So you can create a new document here. But in creating a new document there, you don't get to choose from the type of HTML document. So we're going to go File New. And from here, you get blank page, blank template, page from template, page from sample, and other. We're going to choose the top, blank page, common format, HTML. Now here is where you get to choose your layout style, which you wouldn't from the other screen. And we are going to pick two column fixed, left sidebar, header, and footer. And it is what it, just what it sounds like. The columns are fixed. And that's why you see the lock here as a symbol. Now there's other layouts you can choose which will allow the width to expand or get smaller with the browser window. But in this case, we're going to choose two column fixed. So once you have that picked, hit Create. And now, up here, you're going to see three different views. The design view, the split view, and the code view. The code view is just what it sounds like. You're just looking at the HTML code. The design view is almost like editing a Word document. And split is just what it sounds like. You have the code up here and the design view down here. Let's pick the design view. It's the easiest to modify and deal with. And what it does, this layout style, it's basically putting, as you notice here, miscellaneous letters. And all of this is modifiable, which we're going to do later. But once it's created, let's now save. So if you go to File, Save, just like other programs, let's title it Test, which actually I already have a test, so let's do Test for Class, and leave all this at their defaults, and hit Save. And that's the basic basics of creating and saving for this lesson.